Next up, Bitcoin price dives under 16.9 as well as deposit spike. Again, this is a pretty simple uh, concept. Just so you know, uh, the more that whales and people move their crypto from their wallets onto an exchange means only one thing, they're gonna sell. So Ki Yong Ju, the CEO of CryptoQuant reported that the uh, all exchange inflows mean indicator reaches the danger zone. Historically, this caused Bitcoin to suffer short-term corrections because everybody wants to sell. Feeling the sharp drop of Bitcoin, a low volatility price range was expected. The early drop on November 26 was to 16.2. And then also uh, there was hundreds of millions of dollars worth of futures contracts <laughs> were liquidated within several hours. Man, that sucks. So what this means is that it's still going on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sum up this whole article like this. There's still a bunch of whales depositing to exchanges. They're still selling and the price is still gonna drop. So if you think that uh, you wanna go all in today, again, that's always a mistake in my opinion. I think you should dollar cost average. Uh, me for one, uh, really the question for me is like, where's the bottom? Because I always want to think about like, what's the lowest price I can get? Well, I'll never know. So that's why I dollar cost average because I'm just not that smart. I just put it in, I set it in, forget it, and that's it. So like whatever it is today, uh, I, was, I woke up, I was pretty happy. I'm like, ooh, it's nice and low. So of course, uh, every day I put money into crypto and that's how it goes. Now, I increased that a little bit more. I think I increased by 10% or 15, I forgot. And I bought a little bit more Bitcoin a lot of, and a little bit more Cardano because uh, I think those are going to do well. Also, I bought Ethereum too. can't forget about that. And I increased the buy. I'm pretty sure it was 15% more. And as it goes down, I'm going to increase a little bit more. And then as it goes up, as it starts to like fluctuate, I decrease that to baseline. So where's the bottom? The expectations are this. Some trader experts who, whatever, they're saying it might hit 16,000. That's the level of uh, support. Others say 15 and 14, which I always think is funny. It's like, oh, it's a support level, but we broke it. So it's not a support. I'm like, well, that's not a support level, but whatever. I understand the TA thing and good for them and percentages and whatever. I mean, I just, I'm just not a trader. Uh, meanwhile, popular Bitcoin trader Tone Vase said on November 25th, that he expects Bitcoin to drop even further to the 14,000 support level. Wow, that's pretty low. And that's, I think, also what Ian Bellino was talking about, 14,000. So, hey, we'll see. Anyhow, so that's it for that piece. And let's move on to our last section. So next up, this is hilarious. Facebook will launch Libra cryptocurrency next year. Why is this hilarious? I'm going to tell you why. Because, uh, first of all, it's set to make its debut in early 2021. They're talking about January. And here's the thing. In the original form, of what it was supposed to be. It was a basket of, of currencies that they were gonna use. They're gonna say, okay, it's gonna be the dollar, it's gonna be the euro, it's gonna be the um, the pound, it's gonna be the peso, and we're gonna have a bunch of different uh, basket of currencies, and we're gonna be global, it's gonna be awesome, and that's what we're gonna do. And now they're like, <laughs> hey, guess what? It's gonna be a single digital coin back one for one by the dollar, three sources told the publication, rather than multi-currency coins. So again, um, Facebook thought they were invincible, and the government said, not so fast, suckers, grab some bench, uh, time out. You're not going to do anything. You've already screwed up uh, with all the different ads that you guys run and all the different uh, theft of private data, so we're not going to fall for that. Fool me once, fool me twice, fool me five times, maybe, because we're the government, but the sixth time, we're going to get you. So uh, I just think it's, it's a toothless tiger. So they do that, great. It's going to be great for Facebook. They can... You know, have people on Messenger buy useless junk and back and forth it goes. I'm sure it'll be bigger than that. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, that's hyperbole, but I just don't really care that much. So, hey, good for you, Facebook. I never liked them anyhow. Anyhow, so that's it for those pieces. But I will just make mention of this. We are coming up to the end of the year. If you don't know, I use this thing called iTrust Capital. It, uh, it's for the IRA for cryptocurrencies. So I put in dollars and then I trade into uh, Bitcoin or gold or silver now, uh, XRP, Ethereum, and a host of other different cryptos. There's not a ton on there. But there's just enough for me to get into a crypto IRA, which is uh, helps me to avoid a lot of taxes. Now you've got until the end of the year to uh, sign up if you wanna take advantage of this year. Depending on your age, could be around 6,000 or 7,000 maximum per year. That's how the government works. And that's it. Uh, look in the description and all my videos. There's a link. Looks like this. And you can get the first month free. There's also a big explainer video. It's like 19 minutes. Explains everything of why I chose this company over all of them out there. And uh, why I'll be using them for the next 20 years until I hit 60-something uh, or whatever. 
Oh, and if you enjoy these videos, uh, there's gonna be two ones gonna pop up on your left and right. Not sure which one, but YouTube do its magic. And that is it. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one, which will be Maniana. Bye-bye.